Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this one. So I've already imported the footage that I'm going to use and right now I'm going to make a new composition. I'm going to call it main and it's going to be using the HDTV 1080 preset at 30 frames per second with the duration of 5 seconds. So right now this is the image that I want um, to be first and right here at 2 seconds is where I want the transition to happen. So I'm going to drop in the second image. And now to trim these images you can use a shortcut which is Alt and left bracket or Alt and right bracket depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to select this second image and I'm going to press Alt and left bracket. And the alternative way of doing this is pressing Control Shift D with the layer selected and that's going to split it and then you can delete the unnecessary part. Now I'm showing you this alternative method because for some of you the first shortcut that I mentioned might not work. So right now after you've done this as you can see we have a simple cut from one image to the other one. Um, now we need to create two adjustment layers. The first one is going to be used for the rotation and then the second one is going to be used for the zoom in and for the exposure effect. So I'm going to create the first adjustment layer and then I'm going to call it rotation 1. Um, I'm going to do that because later I'm going to split that layer and it's going to be named rotation 1 and rotation 2. And then I'm going to create the second adjustment layer and I'm going to rename it to zoom and exposure. So right now we want to apply the transform effect to both of these adjustment layers. So it's going to be used for both the zoom and the rotation. Then the second effect that we need to apply is exposure and we only need to apply it to this second adjustment layer right here. I'm going to change its label to maybe blue just so it's different and then I'm gonna select the rotation adjustment layer and I'm gonna create a rotation keyframe right here at two seconds. So right now I can select the layer and press Control shift d to split it and then I can label these two differently so that it's easier to work and then I can select both of them and press U and right now we can see the keyframe that we've just created. So for the first um, adjustment layer we want to set the rotation value to 180 degrees and for the second one we want to set the rotation value to negative 180 degrees. So right now we want to press shift and page up to move 10 frames backwards and then with the first adjustment layer selected we want to set the rotation value back to zero. Then we want to press shift and page down to go back and then shift and page down two more times which is going to move us 20 frames forwards and then we're going to set the rotation value for the second adjustment layer to zero degrees. So right now as you can see this right here is 10 frames and this right here is 20 frames and that equals to 30 frames which at this frame rate equals to one second. So this um, transition is going to be one second long and this is what we have so far. Now the next step is going to be selecting all of these keyframes and hitting F9 to easy ease them and then also enabling motion blur like this and also right here. If you don't see this then click on toggle switches and modes that button should be located right here. So right now it looks like this as you can see really bad. So the first problem is that the animation technically hasn't even started at this point so there's no movement, there's no motion blur and that's why we're gonna move this keyframe two frames backwards and we're also gonna move this keyframe two frames forwards. And right now it looks a bit better because there's motion blur right here. But what we need to do is set the playhead to two seconds then select the second pair of keyframes and then open the graph editor. Right click and make sure that you're editing the speed graph and right now we have to make this animation peak right here at 2 seconds. So we're simply gonna adjust it 
like this until we have the peak point right here. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be um, approximately um, located right here where the um, playhead is. And right now, if I preview this, you can see that it looks a lot smoother. Now, the next step is going to be animating the scale. So I'm going to set the playhead right here to two seconds, and I'm going to select the second adjustment layer for the zoom and the exposure. And with the transform effect, I'm going to set a scale keyframe. And I'm also going to set an exposure keyframe. So right now I can press U and show these two keyframes that I made. We want the exposure right here to be at one and a half. So it's going to be peaking right here. And then we want to move the playhead 10 frames backwards right here, um, aligned with this keyframe. And we want to set the scale back to 100. In fact, we haven't even changed it. So right here, we want it to be at 200. And back here, we want it to be at its original value, which is 100. And we want the exposure to be at zero. So this is what we have so far. And again, we're going to move the playhead all the way out here, and then set the scale back to 100, and also the exposure back to zero. And so far, we have this. Now the next step is going to be selecting the scale keyframes and hitting F9 to easy ease them and then opening graph editor. So we're going to make this look a bit better. Um, we need to align this so that it kind of makes a continuous line. And then we also want to offset the peaks like this. And then we want to check um, if there's a, a nice line right here. We don't want anything to be bad. We want it just to seamlessly transition from this one into this one. And right now, if I preview this, you can see how it looks. Now, the only remaining problem that we have, obviously, are these black edges. So to fix that, we need to search for an effect which is called motion tile. And we're going to apply it to the first image and to the second image. And right now, we're going to check this box that says mirror edges. We're going to do the same thing for the first image. And then we can increase the output height and the output width. So right now, we can't see the black edges anymore. And we need to do the same thing for the second image. Um, increase the output height and the output width. And right now, the black edges are gone. So I can preview this and you can see that we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.